Hello guys and welcome back to the shop. Today we're going to do another tool review. Okay, so welcome back. So today we're doing an automotive tool review. What we have today is the Centec Computer Safe Automotive Logic Probe. And let's see, let me get this up here so you can see it better. There you go. Centec Automotive Logic Probe. It is basically a fancy test light if you really want to, you know, kind of look at it that way. So the Centec Computer Safe Automotive Logic Probe, it is item number 63597. Normally it is $9.99. And today I got it with a 30% off coupon, so I got it for seven bucks. Not too bad. Yes, it's a it's a fancy automotive test light if you really want to look at it that way. But you know what? Most of the diagnosing that I've done on vehicles over the years has been easier done with a test light than with anything complicated. I leave the complicated stuff for later. Generally, when you start off, test lights will eliminate a lot of the stuff without having to get really deep into the weeds with this stuff. Anyway, it has, let me open it up for you here. We have a couple of leads. It has a 32 inch uh, coiled lead right here, but it extends out, it uncoils. If you pull it apart and you use it often enough and it'll stay more pulled apart, it's supposed to extend out to 10 feet. So 32 inches coiled up, 10 feet if you really, really stretch it out. And this will work on uh, 6 volt, 12 volt, and 24 volt systems. And it's very, very simple. Most test lights will only tell you if power is going through something. The beauty of this one, and this, the reason I added it to my diagnostic arsenal, let's call it, is because... The, most of the common test lights, you, when you're checking stuff out, you're probing around, and it'll only tell you if power is getting somewhere. But what if power is not getting somewhere? Is it a short or is it a ground? Sometimes you don't know exactly what you're looking at. I mean, if you're a pro, like some of the guys on YouTube and many mechanics out there, you pay uh, uh, to have access to wiring diagrams and stuff like that that give you a lot of detailed information. Uh, most of us DIY guys, we don't have the money to or don't want to spend on, uh, you know, diagnostic service to have access to all sorts of great information because that can be in the hundreds up to the thousands of dollars on a yearly basis, which we don't do often enough. I mean, how often does your vehicle break down? Once a year? Once every six years? It's not all the time. So why pay thousands of dollars for something you're never going to use. That's why inexpensive little items like this are convenient to have around because when that blue moon do does come around and you do have a problem, a short, something you have to track down, this is not that expensive to get and it helps you really diagnose 99% of the problems in my experience. So, you know, 6, 12, and 24 volt, that's Generally, most of the stuff we're going to deal with, whether it's your car, all the way down to riding lawnmowers or any other equipment that's uh, battery operated down to 6 volts. And it probably does everything in between, of course. And um, like I said, for $7, I, I, I think it's, it's convenient and cheap to have on hand. I already have a regular test light, but the problem, like I said, is how do you know if you, when you're testing it, most test lights only tell you the positive because they generally come with one lead. You put the lead to the battery positive and this will tell you, this will act as the, the ground and then you see where the power is going. If you have a break in between, you don't know. You just get no reading. What if you're hitting the ground? What if you don't know? Well, when you're hitting the ground, you get no reading at all. The beauty of this is that it will tell you if you're hitting positive or negative. Because it has an LED inside here. Let me show you a little bit better. It has a couple of resistors. And it has an LED right there. Which will light up red for positive for power. Or green when you're hitting ground. So that way 
the good thing about this is you reduce, pretty much eliminate, the possibility of blowing something up. Because you're safe whether you hit the positive or the negative. You're still safe. The other way, if you have it wired up wrong and you hit the wrong terminal, you could short something out. With this one, since you're, it's grounded, I mean, not grounded, it's grounded and powered. So you're, you're safe. You can't apply the wrong power to anything. It won't give it the power necessary. It'll only take the power needed to light up this LED. It won't put any power through. So that's the beauty of this. It'll help you find out if you have, and obviously if it doesn't light up, you have a short. So it tells you, did you hit the positive? Did you hit the negative? Or did you hit a short? So that is exactly what it'll do. Red, green, or no color at all, that's a short right there. So that tells you exactly what you need to do to continue diagnosing your problem. So I thought it was a really nifty thing to get. Like I said, for seven bucks, I think it's a great thing to have on hand. Now let's move under the hood of the car and I'm gonna show you exactly rough I'm gonna show you roughly how this works. I'm not gonna get into extremely technical diagnosis because there's nothing wrong with my car. So all I can do is show you how the light works on the terminals of the battery. Uh, for extensive diagnosis, if I actually had a problem to track down, I'd be happy to take you along. When I do have a problem, I'll make another video and take you along and show you that. But right now, I'm going to show you how this works. So let's go over to, to the car. Okay, so we're under the hood of the car, and I've already hooked up the uh, probe. And you can see right here, you put the red to the positive terminal. You put the black to the negative terminal. And nothing lights up because there's... No power, no nothing. You're not doing anything with it. Okay, good. So don't expect it to light up. If it lights up, there's something wrong inside it, take it back. So when you hook it up right here to the negative, you can see you get a green light telling you that is the ground or negative. Hook it up to the positive, you get a red light telling you that is the power terminal. Whatever you're touching is producing power. You touch it somewhere else, you get nothing at all. Like right here, for example, it's the body, so it's grounded, so you get green. Body, ground, green. You're always going to get that on the body. If you have a short somewhere, you're going to get nothing. I'm touching, obviously, knowing that there's no power here, but just for example, anything you touch that is not grounded or powered, you'll get no display whatsoever. And that's the beauty of this. So, ground is negative, positive is red, and you can be touching something else and it won't affect you whatsoever. I'm touching the body right here and you can see it's insulated so your hand does not have anything to do with it. So it's safe in that respect as well. So it's a nifty little device. So let's go back to the bench. Okay, so there you saw how easy and convenient it is to use this uh, uh, basically on a DC application, 6, 12, 24 volts, etc when you're trying to hunt down either the positive or the negative. You don't know what you're looking for. This is a great diagnostic tool. I find it very convenient and I'm sure I'll use it down the road. My cars don't break down now as much as they did when I was a young fellow and couldn't afford nice new cars. I had used cars and they had lots of problems and I was constantly hunting things down trying to find them. I wish I had had this back then. But back then I did it with just a regular test light. This test light is old. This is like 30 years old and they haven't changed in all this time. A simple light bulb that'll take up to 24 volts before it burns out. So it'll do anything, you know, 3, 6, 12, etc., anything in there. The weaker the voltage, the dimmer it is. The more power it gets, the brighter it gets. That's all it is. So you put this on positive, you hunt for negative with this. You put this on negative, you hunt for positive with this. That's all it is. It's very, very limited as to what it can do. It doesn't tell you anything else. A lot of times, you don't know what you're getting at because sometimes it won't lit, light up. That's where this guy helps you out. Doesn't light up, you already know. Because this will tell you ground and positive. So no light, obviously a break, a fault, a short, something. And the good thing about this is like, this seems like a really nice thing. But let's think about something else. Let's say you're under the car somewhere. And you come into a terminal like this. You don't know. You got a lot of wires right there, right? You got a lot of little junctions right there. What does each one do? Well, that's the beauty of this. You can plug into each one of them and find out positive, negative, ground, short, fault, whatever. And that'll help you poking around inside there to know which is which without having to constantly go back and 
change the connectors on the battery. Okay, let's try positive first, let's try negative first. Poof, smoke, you burn something up. No, no, no. With this, you won't burn up anything because it'll tell you what is what. Uh, same with this. Let's say you have connectors like this and you need to know which wire is producing what. Well, you can probe around with this and it'll tell you what to do. Same as this, you have a switch. Look at all the connectors, six different connectors. Which is which? What is what? I keep the connectors on here so I know what they are, but what if you get it with nothing on there? It's just a bare connector. You start tearing it apart. Well, you got to know what produces what. Turn it on, turn it off, and figure out what each one does. That's what this comes in handy for. So it's very convenient. Same as this one. Let's say you have a little circuit board like this. A little circuit board. And let's say these wires broke off, and you don't know which one is which, which one does what. you got to probe around to find out what each one does. This is a little, you know, switch or something like that, but it, what if you get it on this side, for example? It's all bare, all exposed. What does each one do? That's what this comes in handy for. It helps you to probe around, find out what everything does without having to constantly be disconnecting the terminals. And the good thing about this also, on the flip side, if you don't want to hook this up to the battery, by the way, before I say that, if you are too far away from the battery, you can always mod this. It doesn't come with it but I'm giving you an idea here. You can mod this to hook it up to your uh, cigarette lighter. Remember, positive and negative. Find if you have a cigarette terminal, you know, the bullet shape, and then you have the wires coming out, you know, attach it onto here, and then you're inside the car, you don't need to stretch this all the way out to the battery. Cigarette terminal plug for this, and then you're free to go inside the car and check everything you want without having a long extended wiring that can come apart from the battery. So that's mod number one. Uh, secondly, if you don't have access to, I mean, I just gave you a way to do it, but if for some reason you don't have access to both positive and negative, you can use this like a regular test light. So you only have access to one terminal. You put this on the hot side. This will, you know, you find uh, the, you use this as a ground tester. You only have access to ground. This will tell you where the power is. So it'll work. If one of the terminals is not available, if you can't hook them both up, you can use like a regular test light. They do not both have to be hooked up at the same time. It just makes it easier if you're using them both. But one could be missing and you can still use this as a regular test light. So I could literally throw this away and not care anymore because this one does both jobs. But obviously I'm not going to. I'm not silly to throw away money. I mean, I already bought this. I spent on it. I'm going to keep it. You can never have too many tools, right? That's the golden rule of being a DIY. Never have too many tools. At least my opinion. Anyway, so uh, there you go. The Centec Computer Safe uh, Logic Probe. I think it's a nifty little device. I think I'm going to use it. Uh, it's going to be very convenient for me down the road. Hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to hit that like button and be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can see all the videos that I'm going to put up down the road. Do more uh, product reviews and tool reviews and fun videos down the road. So subscribe, like, Stay tuned, and I'll be back with another video real soon. So I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye for now.